problem is uh, two charges of equal magnitudes and the distance r or the distance r gets up a force f on each other if the charges are halved and distance between them is doubled then the new force acting on each charge is yes what do you say about the options option b huh option b okay so let us discuss this so here what's happening so there are three point charges over here so this is q1 with a and this is q2 with a these two things are with a particular distance r these two things are with a particular distance r okay now so the force between them is uh, how do you say so this is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught so this becomes q1 and q2 by r square q1 q2 by r square but it Now, what's the point? These two charges are how? Okay, so Q1 becomes Q1 by 2. So the new force that is 1 by 4 by epsilon naught, this becomes Q1 by 2, and this becomes Q2 by 2, and the distance between them is doubled. Okay, so R that becomes 2R, 2R square. That is 4R square. 4R square. The new force the dash is equal to So this is four. Okay, divided by four, sixteen. So one by sixteen into one by four pi epsilon naught. This is Q one Q two pi r square. So the value of this is nothing but here. Yeah, therefore, this is one by sixteen times. So option B is correct. Option B is correct. Yeah, pi sixteen. Come on, move it down. The next problem is two identical copper spheres are separated by one meter in vacuum. How many electrons would have to be removed from one sphere and added to the other sphere so that now they attract with each other with a force of 0.9 newton? Option C or B? Third option or the second option? Third option. Eighteen. Ah, six point two five into ten power thirty. 6.25 into 10 power 30. Okay, so let us discuss this. Look at this here. The given situation is uh, there are two identical copper spheres so which are separated by one meter. So this is one copper sphere and one more copper sphere is this. The distance between these two copper spheres is one meter, right? And initially these two copper spheres are neutral, no charges. Now charges you need to impose. For that purpose, what you have to do is. Uh, You need to either remove the charge, the electrons from one of the spheres, and how many electrons are coming out of one sphere? Those electrons are to be added to the second sphere, to the second sphere, right? Okay. So let the number of electrons are coming out. Then that is M P. That is nothing but Q. Okay. So when the number of electrons are removed, then it becomes a plus Q. Same the number of electrons are added to the second sphere. So then it becomes minus Q. It becomes minus Q. So what is the force now here? Zero point nine newton. Zero point nine newton. But it, so what is the force over here? So force F is equal to one by four pi epsilon naught into this is Q one Q two by R square. Okay. Now this is nine into ten power nine is equal to ten power one. So minus one. Ten power one minus one. One by four pi epsilon naught. Nine into ten power nine into Q into Q. That is a Q square divided by R square. That is one square. These two things will get cancelled out. So Q square is equal to ten power minus ten. So Q is equal to ten power minus five kilo. Q is equal to ten power minus five kilo. So how many electrons are present? Yeah, this is equal to Q by E. This is the ten power minus five divided by one point six into ten power minus nineteen. Which is the charge on the electron? Which is the charge on the electron? So this becomes the one by sixteen into ten power. Ten power minus twenty. This is ten power minus twenty. It became ten power minus twenty. So ten power minus twenty is going here. Ten power fifty. Okay. So this becomes the six point two five into ten power thirteen. So this many number of electrons are to be removed. This many electrons are to be removed from one sphere, and that many electrons are to be added to the other sphere. Then the force will be zero point nine newton. Then the force will be 
0.9 newton. 0.9 newton like this. Okay, next problem. Two positive charges are separated by a certain distance of 2 meter. Each other with a force of 0 0.36 newton. If the combined charge is 26 microfoot, the charges are B. Option B. Okay, option B, they say. B? Okay, so let me discuss. See here, the combined charge has also been given over here. See, in this particular case, there are two possible charges separated by a distance of 2 meter. So, distance between them appears at 2 meter. Right? Okay, so the force of repulsion, okay, is equal to 0 0.36 newton, 36 into 10 power minus 2 newton. If the combined charge, that is Q1 plus Q2 is equal to how much? 26 microfoot. 26 microfoot. So 26 into 10 power minus 6 equal. 26 into 10 power ah, minus 6 equal. Therefore, Q1 is equal to how much? 26 into 10 to the minus 6 minus 2. Minus Q2. Minus Q2. Understood? Okay. So what is the force now? We know that force F is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q1 Q2 by R squared. So F, that is 36 into 10 to the minus 2. This is 9 into 10 to the 9. Yes, Q1. So this is okay, Q1. Okay, so Q1. So 26 into 10 power minus 6 minus Q2. Okay, into Q2 divided by R square. So that is 4. R square, that is 4. Okay, so this 4 times 16. 16 into 10 power minus 11 is equal to. Right? Okay. So this is 26 into 10 power minus 6 into Q2 minus. Okay. Q2 squared. Minus of Q2 squared. Right? Okay. So I will do one thing. I'm always writing Q1, Q2, Q1, Q2. That seems to be somewhat complicated. That's fine. So Q1, you say x yes. of Q2, you say y. Like, huh? Then this equation becomes what? Huh? So this is shift to the side. So this is Q2 is y now. So y square minus 26 into 10 power minus 6 into y. So plus 16 into 10 power minus 11 is equal to Yes. Okay. So this is the quadratic equation. Now y value you need to find out. Okay. Here discriminant equation I will be using. That is some under root e square minus 4 is that. Okay. See here, in this particular case, A is equal to 1 and B is equal to minus 26 into 10 to the power minus 6. Okay. Next, C is equal to how much? 16 into 10 to the power minus 11. Okay. So, Y is equal to minus B, minus B, 26 into 10 to the power minus 6 plus R minus under root B square. This pair. So 26 into 26, so how much? Okay. So this is a 676. 676 into 10 power minus 12 minus 4 AC. Minus 4 AC. Okay. 4 AC. 64 into 10 power minus 11. I will do one thing. 60 so divided by 2 okay so y is equal to i will do one thing 26 into 10 power minus 6 plus r minus under root 676 into 10 power minus 12 even this thing also i will adjust as 10 power minus 12 so for that purpose 1 10 and 10 power minus 1 i have to multiply therefore it becomes a 640 into 10 power minus 12, isn't it? Divided by 2. Right? Convinced to means 10 power minus 12, you can take as common. Then that is coming out as 10 power minus 6. Here also 10 power minus 6 is there. 
So 10 to the power minus 6. 26. Plus or minus. Okay. 6 is 7 to 6 minus 6 1. 36. 6. Isn't it? Okay. Why? Okay. So y is equal to first one is the plus rule. 1 to 6 plus 6 by 2. How much? 16. Okay. Negative 2. Negative 1. Okay. 10. 16 micro coulomb. 10 micro coulomb. Both possibilities. Then x is for how much? X is for q1. q1. Okay. So q1 is equal to 1 to 6 micro coulomb minus q. Minus Q, 10. Okay. Ah, 26 micro coulomb minus Q2. So these are the two combinations. These are the two combinations. Understand? Right. So this is the way how you have to perform the problem. Now coming to the next problem. Yes. Two identical particles of charge Q each are connected by a massless spring. Okay, of course, a constant K. They are placed over a smooth horizontal surface. They are released when the separation between them is R. The spring is in its natural length. If maximum extension of the spring is R, okay, the value of K is neglect gravitational effect. So what do you say the answer? You did not get it. Okay. Here, I think options are wrong. Some other questions options have been given out here. I suspect. We will see. We will talk. Because in my opinion, square roots will not come here. Let us see. Girls, what do you say? Did you try this one? Ah. <clears throat> so two identical particles of charge Q. Yes, hold on. Can I erase this? Hold on. Yes. Ah. So look at this here you see two identical particles, it means the same particles. So look at this here you see this is one particle of charge Q and this is one more particle of charge Q over here. Right. Okay, so this, these two things are connected by a spring. These two particles are connected by a spring. The spring has the spring constant K. Understood? The spring is in its original length initially. Got it? Okay, so these two things are separated by a distance R. R is the distance between these two particles out here. In fact, since these two things are of the same charges, Force of repulsion takes place due to which this will be moving. This side that will be moving. That side. But spring is holding them. Not only spring, spring gets extended, but you are holding them. Is that wrong? By the way, so since spring okay, applies a kind of restoring force, what happens at this stage? There will be some potential energy in the spring. 
And what about the potential energy which gets developed in the spring? That is nothing but elastic potential energy. So, in this particular case, elastic potential energy. Elastic potential energy. So, what do you say about this elastic potential energy? So, elastic potential energy, remember, did you remember? See here. So, the distance of traveling, that is R. Okay. So, R, get this. How? K R square. How? K X square. So, this is. Okay. So, the formula for potential energy. Oscillations. Oscillations chapter. Oh, oscillation chapter. Not by me. So, in your regular studies. Okay, so in the oscillation of chapter, okay, just yes, you, you will come across this. You will come across this. Then half k r square, this becomes uh, the elastic potential energy. Keep that elastic potential energy aside. One more potential energy also. What is that? That is due to charges. Due to charges. Okay, so electrostatic potential energy that is. Okay. So, electrostatic potential energy. Initial, this is initial, I. How much? So, this becomes the one by 4 pi epsilon naught q into q. That is q square divided by. Uh, uh, q1 q2 by r. So, that is electro, so electrostatic potential energy. Initial. Now, you are leaving. The moment you leave it, what happens then? Because of force of repulsion, both electrons will be moving this side. So this will be moving this side, this will be moving this side. The extension in the spring is what? R. Initial is R. The overall extension is R. Then how do you say about the electrostatic potential and energy final? 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Ah, so q square by new distance. What is the new distance now? Two r. Understood? Okay. So this becomes q square by eight pi epsilon naught r. Yes. Okay. Now change the potential energy. That is the electrostatic potential energy. Change in electrostatic potential energy. Okay, so this is initial, this is final. But usually, you know, the things we will be writing one thing. What is that? Final minus initial. Am I correct? But here, initial minus final difference. Why? 4 by epsilon naught, 8 by epsilon naught. This is larger. Uh, this is larger, this is smaller. Understood? Larger minus smaller. We will match. So, Initial PE minus final PE. Okay, so change in the potential energy due to these electrical charges. What do you say now? This is Q square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught R minus Q square by 8 pi epsilon naught R. So, what is the value? Ah. So, change in the potential energy is equal to Q square by A pi epsilon naught R. Ultimately, this potential energy has to be equal to this. What do we have to calculate in this problem? Ah. The value of K. Spring constant value we need to find out. Okay. So, value of K. So, this becomes so half K R square is equal to. Huh. So this becomes Q square by 8 pi epsilon naught R. This 4 times K is equal to Q square by 4 pi epsilon naught R Q. This is the square root of the number. Okay. Spring constant k is equal to q square by 4 pi epsilon naught or q.
ओके ऑप्शन सब रॉन्ग Yes, or ah, uh, two point charges Q and a minus three a three Q are placed. We have some distance apart. If the electric field at the location of Q is V, the field at the location of minus three Q is plus E by three. Good or yes, good, correct. Okay, is it clear for all of you? Or should I explain? Explain? Should I explain? Okay, so look at this. There are two charges given over here. First charge is of magnitude Q, and the second charge is of charge minus 3. Right? Look at this. So this is a charge Q, and this is the charge minus 3. These two things are separated by some distance. There is a let or be the distance between them. Let or be the distance between them. Right? Now, what did he tell? If the electric field get Q is E. The electric field get Q is E. This is E. Okay. Then let the electric field be E dash. Now, E dash is what? That's what we have to find out. Find out. One thing you have to remember. All of you look at the board and try to understand. Coulomb's inverse square law, the electric field for a point charge. Okay, what did you notice? If at all any electric charge you take over here, if at all you take any point over here, point, no, no charge, point. If at all this point is in a particular distance r, what is the electric field? So the electric field E is equal to 1 pi 4 pi epsilon of cube by r square. Okay. This we know. This you need to apply over here. Imagine, imagine that uh, this Q is not there for some time, for time being. Imagine. Then you do this minus three Q. There will be some field at this point. What will be the field? That is E is equal to uh, so one by four pi epsilon naught minus three Q. So three Q by R square. Okay. So negative, negative in the sense of this E will be in this direction. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, charge of use. Now, for the so for some time, forget this minus 3. Minus 3 is not there. Imagine. 
Now there will be some electric field due to this ion in this punch. And what will be that electric field now? This is positive. Okay, E dash. I have said no. So E dash. E dash is also in the same direction. Okay, so E dash, how do you write? Ah, you have this distance. That is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught u to this q here. So q by plus q by r square plus means upward. Okay, so from here, this ah, 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by r square is equal to e by q. So what is this? E dash e by q. Both e dash and e are in the same direction. Both are in the same direction. Since both things are in the same direction, when both things are in the opposite directions, they will be. Okay? Yes or no? Okay. Shall we take up the next problem? Yes. The problem is the electric field at 30, 30 centimeter due to a charge of minus 8 microcoulomb at the origin in Newton per coulomb. Okay. So there is a charge which is minus 8 microcoulomb. So where is this minus 8 microcoulomb? Where is this minus 8 microcoulomb? Yes, the dimensions are given 30, 30, right? 30, 30. So, 30, 30, they are the coordinates of the given charge, which is of minus 8 microcoulomb. You know that they are the origin intensity of the electric field you need to calculate. Okay, intensity of the electric field you need to calculate. See, we can just again see 30, 30. See, this is a 10. This is 20, this is 30, along the x-axis, along the y-axis at 10 meters or 10 centimeters, anything. So 30. So the thing is from here, like this. Here, minus 8 microcoulomb charge you have placed. So this is the position of power. That is the position of power. Right? Okay, so this is the position vector, this is vector r. Vector r. So this vector r, how do you represent? 30 i cap plus 30 j cap. 30 i cap plus 30 j cap. But it, so here, what is the unit vector over here? Unit vector r cap. R cap. Ah, how do you write? So vector r divided by magnitude of this vector r. Okay. So vector r, that is 30 i cap plus 30 j cap divided by under root r. Ah, so 30 square plus 30 square. 30 square plus 30 square, how much? So this is 30 into i cap plus j cap by 30 square 900. 30 square 900. 900 plus 900, 1800. 18 into 100. So 10 roots, 18. Huh? 30? Ah, 30 root 2. Okay. Why this approximate will take? Okay, so 18. Right? So 18 means 18 means ah, 4 4 are 16. 4.2. Approximately 4.2 we can take. 4.2 into 10. 4.2 into 10, 42. So 30 into I cap plus J cap divided by so 42. 42. So 42 is the distance. Approximately 42 is the distance. 
right? Now coming to this Coulomb is inverse square law. So D is equal to 1 by 4 by epsilon h. 9 into 10 power minus q. So A into 10 power minus 6 divided by. Okay, R square. R square. What is R square? So this is 42 square into R cap. R cap. R cap means this 30 into I cap plus J cap divided by 42. Okay, so this is a vector representation. Vector representation of this wind density of the electric field. Right? Now coming to the second E is equal to. Uh, so here this is 72 into 10 power 3 into 30 I cap plus J cap. So this becomes 42 into 42 into 42. So cancellations wherever they are possible. Okay. So here this is 10 times. Okay. So this is 4 times. Understand? Okay. So this is 7 times. 36 times. Okay. So this is 12 times. 14 times. This is 4 times. Okay. Ah. This is 14 times per table. Okay. Now, ah, seven. Where will we cast? Seven. Okay. See, four, 14 into 14 into seven. Into 10 power four. Into 10 power 4. Into I cap plus J cap. I cap plus J cap. Even the same. Okay. 79 as a 49. Into 14. Right. Okay. Ah. Is it it? Okay. Uh, yeah, just one more possibility is also there wrong. Right? Uh, 49 into 7. Okay. 343. Yes. Okay. So 343 wrong. I will take whole same into I can plus J cap. Okay, so how sign divide three forty three two times. Okay, so this is four. Okay, points. So how many times? So nine times can we try? Can we try? Or eight times? Okay, so day times. Ah. Okay, so this is six, so this is nine, this is no. So nine times this we can nine times we can go. Okay. Ah, three zero eight six. Okay. So this is the, this is part. Okay? Right? Okay, so you can leave it like this. 2.9. So 29. So that is 29 into I cap plus J cap. So this is 400, 400, 200, 200. So that is not possible in the calculation. That is not possible in the calculation. Understood? Okay. Thank you.
Come on, come on, please make it faster. Next question. Two charges 4 into 10 power minus 9 coulomb and minus 16 into 10 power minus 9 coulomb are separated by a distance of 20 centimeter. Okay. The position of the neutral point from the small charge is. Twenty by three. Option B. Option B. Can we share What are you saying? Okay. Yes, 20 by 3, these people say, boys, ah, any more answers please? The position of the neutral point. Position of the neutral point means that that is the point where the intensity of the electric field becomes zero. The intensity of the electric field becomes zero. Can I guess this? Okay. Okay. So, this type of problems, many problems we did earlier. Earlier, many problems we did of this category. Right? Now, we get this here. There are two charges so for my nanocodon. Minus 16 minus so nanopore. Right? Now, we get this. This is 4 into 10 power minus 9 coulomb. And then minus 16 into 10 power minus 9 coulomb. Right? So, the intensity of the electric field has to become zero. That depends upon when you take the electric fields which are in the opposite directions. Okay, see the electric field due to this positive charge I will be taking in this direction because for a positive charge the electric field is always radially outward. Next, the electric field due to this negative charge I will be taking like this because the electric field due to a negative charge is always radially inward. Radially inward. Let the neutral point be found here. So get a distance x. The distance between these two charges is given by 20 centimeter in the this is 20 centimeter. This is 20 centimeter. Right now, so the electric field due to this there is a given you take. The electric field due to that second charge d2 you take. So e1 is equal to d2. Then only the neutral point is possible. Neutral point is possible. Okay, so even how do you write 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q that is 4 into 10 power minus 9 by x square is equal to and how do you write that 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught that's Q into 16 into 10 power minus 9 divided by x plus 20 whole square. So these two things will get cancelled out. Even this 4 also goes here. So when you take the square roots on either side, so it becomes 2 by x plus 20. 2 by x plus 20. Right? So this is 2x is equal to x plus 20. x is equal to 20. Oh, sorry. 20 in the sense 0 0.2 meter. This is 0 0.2 meter. 0 0.2 meter, 0 0.2 meter, 0 0.2 meter. Not only, but the thing is, we have to maintain a systematic approach. Understood? Okay, 0 0.2 meter means 20 0 0.2 meter means 20 centimeter. But it matters. Yes. The next problem. <coughs> The number of electrons to be put on a spherical conductor of radius 0.1 meter to produce the electric field of 0.036 newton per coulomb just above the surface. I think this is repeated. Yes. Am I correct? Okay, I remember we have done this problem. 
I remember we have done this problem. Okay, repetition. Okay, leave it. Next, question number 89. The magnitude of electric intensity in the distance gets from a charge is a few. An identical charge is placed to get a distance of 2x from each. Then the magnitude of the force it experiences is D. Option D. EQ by 4, you say. So let us discuss. Girls, what do you say? Option D. Huh? So what is the given situation? What is the given situation? Look at this, so the magnitude of the electric intensity in the distance x from the charge Q is E. So look at this, so there is a charge given, let the charge be Q, there is a point given here, which is the distance x. Now, due to this charge, at this point, the electric field is E. Okay, so the electric field there is E, how do you write? So that is 1 by 4 by epsilon naught Q by x square, okay? Now, in the second situation, what's this? what is it doing? An identical charge is placed at a distance of 2x from it. Okay, then the magnitude of the force it experiences is. Okay, so an identical charge means a similar charge is placed at a distance of 2x from it. From this, means 2x from here, q is placed over here. So, even this distance is so. Look at it. Yes, no? Okay, now, so what is the magnitude of the force it experiences now? What is the magnitude of the force? Yes, come on down. How do you do? Yes, come on. Whatever the charge that you place to get gets. Okay, what is the force it experienced by that? F is equal to C from here to here the total distance is 2x. The total distance is 2x. Got it? Okay, so from here to here the electric field is x. Okay, so due to this, what will be the electric field present from here? You forget about this Q. Okay. So, what will be the field of here due to this? If that is the field, that is V dash. V dash is the field. Okay. Now you are placing the charge Q over here. Now, force reacting on this charge, there is a Q into V dash. Is that wrong? Q into E dash. And first of all, E dash you have to write. First of all, E dash you need to write. Okay, so this E, first E you write, ah, so E is this, 1 by 4 by epsilon naught plus K, I will be writing, right, K into Q by X square. Now, so this E dash is for how much? So K, which is 1 by 4 by epsilon naught, ah, so Q, you put that, Q by 4 X square. Okay, got it? So this is V dash, this is V dash. Now, the force experienced by this particle in this place. So Q, ah, V dash. V dash is what? K in the Q by 4 x square. So F is equal to S, ah. So K in the Q square by 4 x square. Understood? Understood? Otherwise, it becomes up. Okay, E, we can write. And what is E over here? Because all options are given in terms of E. So force is equal to ah, Q. Okay, E is this by 4. Okay, so this how do you write K in the Q by X? Okay, K in the Q by X square. So what is K in the Q by X square? There is something to be. So E. Ah. So this is a QE by 4. That is a QE by 4. Not even like this. You should not have any confusion in this. Any confusion? What my you? 
Any confusion? You didn't understand. Now then you want to tell him. Huh? Till I asked him, huh? you are not opening your mouth. Huh? Whether you understood or not. You see here, once again, I am explaining. You forget about the second situation. Once again, here look at the word. See, in the first case, charge Q is taken. Try to understand. Okay, in the first case, charge Q has been taken. Okay, so there is a point taken here. Yes. In the distance, yes. Then what will be the field of here? The field is E. And how do you write the electric field? 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by x square. Are you clear with this? Huh? Okay. Now, a similar charge has been taken in a distance of 2x from it. From it means from which? From this. From here to here, x. Okay. 2x will be the total distance. The means from here, x more distance you have to take. Yes or no? So this is the point. This is the point A. This is the point B you take. Okay. So what is the intensity of the electric field in B? Okay. So you do this. Because now, of course, the B charge Q has been traced. But don't put up. There will be no good. Okay. So if you don't take any point B, which is 2x. Okay. Units away from this. What will be the electric field in B? 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q by 2x whole square, so 4x square. Okay, so now charge q has been placed. So this electric field will apply some force. What is the force acting on this B? Okay, electric force acting on Q, which is yet B. Not which is yet A. Okay, so get this Q into E. Q, that is S. Into E. What is E? E get B. Okay, so Q, E get B is how much? K, Q by 4, X squared. Just wait, adjust, adjust this equation. So this is Q by 4. This is K into Q by X squared. K in the Q by X square already have been E. Therefore, so this is Q B by F. Understood? Next problem, I am just reading out. So A and B are two points separated by a distance of 5 cm. Two charges, two, so 10 microcoulomb and 20 microcoulomb are placed at A and B. The resultant intensity of the electric field at a point B outside the charges at a distance of 5 cm from 10 microcoulomb charge is. I hope you can do this. I hope you can do this. Yes, come on, come on, try just one minute. Yes, how much? A. Option A. Option A, he says. Huh? Sure. Okay, so let us discuss. Okay. Uh, a 
and B are two points separated by a distance of 5 cm. So look at this, this is the point A and this is the point B. The distance between these two points is 5 cm. Two charges of 10 microcoulomb and 20 microcoulomb are placed with A and B. So 10 microcoulomb is placed here. 20 microcoulomb is placed over here. Right? The resultant electric field at a point B outside the charges at a distance of 5 cm from 10 microcoulomb. Okay. So from 10 microcoulomb, 5 cm. So this is C. This is C. Right? The resultant in so electric intensity. That means the electric field intensity you need to calculate. You need to calculate. Okay. C. Due to this positive charge now, so the electric field will be in this direction, which is okay, E due to E. Right? Next step. So given this will be radially upward. So resulting this again, electric field due to B is also in the same direction. Like this. Okay. So electric field due to E. Ah, this is equal to due to this one, how much? So 1 by 4 by epsilon naught. That is a 9 into 10 power 9. 9 into 10 power 9 into 10 into 10 power minus 6 divided by 5 centimeter. Okay, square. So this is 25 into 10 power minus 4. Right? Okay. So this is 10 power minus 5. 10 power minus 1. Right? So this is e 9 by 25 into 10 power 8. Newton per which is in this direction. AC. Vector AC. Vector AC. Now coming to the electric field due to B at this point C. What will be the value? 1 by 4 by epsilon naught. Okay, so 20 into 10 power minus 6 divided by. Okay, so what is the distance now? 5 plus 5, 10 centimeters. 10 power minus 2. Right? So this becomes 10 power 1. Minus 3, 10 power 1 minus 3. So, intensity of the electric field. So, this is 18 into 10 power 6. 18 into 10 power 1, 6. Okay, right now. Ah, so, this is 10 power 8. This is 10 power 6. Both the things are in the same direction. The resultant electric field is nothing but summation of these two electric fields. Since these two vectors are in the same direction, E is equal to EA plus EB. E is equal to, we need to see that exponents must be equal. The exponents must be equal. How shall we make it? Okay, so this is 900, if I write 10 power 6, it becomes now. Yes, sir. Look at this. I am just modifying this value. I will be writing this as 900 by 25 into 10 power 6. Can I write this? Okay. So 9 into 100. 25 goes 4 times. 36. 10 power 6 will be you. Understood? Yes, sir. Okay. So EA value is modified as. 36 into 10 power 6 plus 18 into 10 power 6. So D is equal to 54 into 10 power 6. Ultimately, what is the direction? What is the direction? The resultant electric field is concentrated towards okay. So this thing that's a 10 microcoulomb. Towards the 10 microcoulomb is there. Now let us see the options of how they are. 54 into 10 power 1, 6 newton per coulomb away from 10 microcoulomb. Away from 10 microcoulomb. Yes. So option A is correct. Option A is correct. Right. 
नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम द कॉर्नर्स ए बी सी ऑफ ए स्क्वायर ए बी सी डी चार्जेस 10 मिली कूलम माइनस 20 मिली कूलम एंड 10 मिली कूलम आर प्लस द इलेक्ट्रिक इंटेंसिटी इन द सेंटर ऑफ द स्क्वायर टू बिकम जीरो द चार्ज टू बी प्लेस्ड इन द कॉर्नर बी इज यस यस ये सिमिलर चार्ज हैज टू बी प्लेस्ड सिमिलर चार्ज हैज टू बी प्लेस्ड Generally, the intensity of electric field in the center becomes zero. Okay, so yet, yeah, what is the charge that is supposed to be minus twenty millicoulomb? Minus twenty millicoulomb. Millicoulomb. But next problem: a charged oil drop is suspended in a uniform electric field of intensity three into ten power four volt per meter, so that it neither falls nor rises. The charge on the drop will be neither falls nor rises. Means what you say? It is in the equilibrium state. It is stationary. It is stationary. It is in the equilibrium state. Can you work it out? Done. Option A. Did I get the same thing? Akilesh, should I explain? Huh? Mayo, explain. No need. What here? Huh? No need. First charge unit calculation. Q E is equal to m G. Understood? Okay. Mass of the charge has been given here. You see, nine point nine into ten power minus fifteen k. Okay. Q into E is equal to m into G. Therefore, Q is equal to m G by E. E value is there. Three into ten power four. So if you do that, you will be getting the charge. Understood? The moment you get charge, quantization principle. That is Q is equal to E. Therefore, E is equal to Q by E. Finish. Okay. That is the procedure. Right. Now coming to the next thing. A particle of mass m and charge Q is placed at rest in a uniform electric field E and then released. The kinetic energy attained by the particle after moving it is equal to y. Given this thing also repetition. Repetition. Okay, leave it. Okay, proton and an atom particle start from rest in a uniform electric field. Then the ratio of time supplied to travel some distance in the field is. This is the new problem. Okay, did we work out this problem earlier? No. Okay, this we will work out. Work it out. Girls, Sagar, come on, try. Proton, its charge is e. Alpha particle, its charge is two e. Proton's mass is m. Then alpha particle's mass becomes four m. Because alpha particle is symbolically written as two he four. That is nothing but helium's nucleus. That is nothing but helium's nucleus. Helium's nucleus. Marketing. Okay. <clears throat> okay. 
So look at this normal and alpha particle. Proton and alpha particle. Right? So what do we have to calculate? And both of these are released, are released from okay, from rest. So that means the initial velocity of proton is equal to zero. Initial velocity of alpha particle is zero. In a uniform electric field. Okay. So on both the particles, the intensity of the electric field applied is V. Then the ratio of time supplied to travel some distance in the field. Some distance. Some distance. Same distance, huh? Same distance. Same distance. Okay. So if this distance is X, if this distance is also X. Right? Okay. So charge of problem E. Then the charge of alpha particle is 2e. Mass of proton that is m. Then the mass of alpha particle is 4m. Because alpha particle is written as 2he4. Alpha particle is written as 2he4. Right? So out of this data, acceleration of this particle becomes m. So this is e, e by m. This is the proton. Next, acceleration of alpha particle becomes okay. Charge of the alpha particle into intensity of the electric field divided by mass of alpha particle. Therefore, the acceleration of alpha particle is nothing but two m. Okay. Yes. Same distance. Now you need to calculate the ratio of times. For this time taken, that is Tp, for this time taken P alpha. Okay, same distance. Okay, so second equation of motion, if I'm right, so x is equal to Up into Tp plus half Ap into Tp square. Right, so x is equal to 0 plus half into so what is Gp? E, e by m into t is Therefore, distance travel is equal to what do you say? Ah, half. Okay. So this is e e by two m into t is Right. So this is the equation term. Now for alpha particle, even alpha particle is also covering the same amount of distance. So that is x is equal to initial velocity of alpha particle, time taken by alpha particle plus half. Okay, so acceleration of alpha particle, time taken by alpha particle square. So x is equal to zero plus half into acceleration of alpha particle. So this is VE e by 2m into T alpha square. Therefore, distance gets is equal to VE e by 4m T alpha square. This is the equation 2. From these two equations, what can you write? So this becomes E e by 2m into T P square is equal to V e, e by 4m into P alpha square. So these two things will get cancelled out. Even M also gets cancelled out. You need to give the ratio Pp and P alpha. First proton, next alpha particle. Understood? Okay, so this becomes a Pp square by P alpha square is equal to this boson. So this is 2 by 4. 1 by 3. 1 by 2. So there is a 1 is 2 root 2. 1 is 2 root 2. 1 is 2 root 2. Okay, option D is correct. Option D is correct. Yes, understand?
Yes, please make it faster. Ah, oh, next problem shall we take up? Next problem. In a regular hexagon, each corner is getting distance R from the center. Identical charges of magnitude Q are placed with five corners. The field at the center will be. Yes, the field at the center will be. Option A. Because similar problems we had. In the problem, what did we come across? If a regular polygon has n sides, okay, yet n minus 1 vertices equal charges are placed. But here, hexagon. Five charges are placed. So, one more. Okay, side is left touch. Understood? So, k into q by r square. Are you clear? I'll show you. Show. Okay, like this. Okay, the next problem. Next problem. Okay, so problem number 96. The point charge 50 micro coulomb is located in the XY plane. In the at the point of position vector. Okay, vector R notch is equal to I cap plus 3 J cap. What is the electric field at the point of position vector? Vector R is equal to 8 I cap, so I cap minus 5 J cap. Can you write? Just one minute I am waiting for. Did all hold on this one? Can I hear is the board? Yes. Sapna, voting down, should I wait? Ah. How much? Option B, fourth option. Okay, option B, they say. Yes, over. Thanks. Now, a point charge 50 micro coulomb is located in the x ray plane. Get a point of a position vector, vector R naught is equal to I cap plus 3 J cap. Right. See, vector notation has been given in this problem. Okay. From that vector notation, what we do is we will be converting into magnitudes. Right. Look at this. This is x axis. This is y axis. Z axis. Origin. I have taken okay, space. X, y, z space. X, y, z space. Right. In y, z plane. In y, x, y plane. In x, y plane. Okay, what is the XY plane? This is XY plane. Okay, otherwise, okay, so this is X, I will say, and this is Z, I will say. Right? Then XY plane will be X. Okay? This is X axis, this is Y axis, this is XY plane. In this XY plane, there is a point. Its position vector is vector R. 
Now, at this point, there is a charge 50 microcoulomb is present. Charge 50 microcoulomb is present. Okay, now this charge, what is the electric field at the point of position vector? Okay, so vector R is equal to 8 I cap minus 5 I cap. That means this is taken to another point of interest. This position vector is vector R. <coughs> okay, so this is vector R dash. Okay, we need to apply triangular law of vectors. This vector plus this vector is equal to this vector taken in the reverse order. So, vector R dash plus vector R dash is equal to vector R. Vector R dash, vector R minus vector R dash. Okay. So, what is vector R given? 8 I cap minus 5 J. Minus initial vector 2 I cap plus 3 J cap. 2 I cap plus 3 J cap. Right? So, vector R dash. How much? 6 I cap. Okay. Minus 8 J. What do you say about the magnitude of this vector R dash? Under root huh, 36 plus 64, the magnitude of this vector R dash is 10 units. 10 units. What do we have to calculate? Huh, what is the electric field at the point? Okay, at the position vector. What is the electric field now? What is the electric field now in this point? C intensity of the electric field is equal to 9 into 10 power 9, which is 1 by 4 by epsilon naught value. Okay, Q 50 microcoulomb, 50 into 10 power minus 6. So 5 into 10 power minus 5 divided by R dash square. Okay, so this is 100. Right? So this becomes a 10 power 7. E is equal to 45 into 10 power 2, 45 into 10 power 2. Newton power 2. Newton power 2. Okay. So, vector notation, diagrammatically, you should be able to visualize. Okay. Like this. But then, Next problem. Four identical charges Q are fixed in the four corners of a square of side length. Find the electric field intensity at point P located symmetrically at a distance A by root 2 from the center of the square. From the center of the square. Okay. Yes, come on, come on. Yes. 
Yes, Owen, can I hear this about? Now look at this, the given situation is like this, four identical charges Q are fixed in the four corners of a square of side length E. Right? Find the electric field, get a point P located symmetrically at a distance A by root 2. So what is the meaning of symmetrically at a distance A by root 2 from the center of the square? Symmetrically. Symmetrically means what about this point P he is talking about that is get equal distances from each corner. Understood? That is okay, this is symmetrical. That is symmetrical. So look at this. The given situation diagram, I will be showing you this. So what about the square that he is talking about? I am taking the square like this, horizontal. Okay, this is the square that is A, and this is B, this is C, and this is B. Side length is A, side length is A, side length is A, side length is A. Don't say that it is rhombus or a parallelogram, not like that. This is square only, I have taken like this. Horizontally, I have taken. Okay, horizontally, I have taken. Right? Now, look at this. This is one diagonal, this is one more diagonal. When the side length is A, when the side length is A, got it? Okay, so the length of the diagonal will be root 2A. Root 2A. Okay, now at a distance A by root 2, symmetrically the point P has been taken. The pinson, this is the square, above this we need to be. Okay, above this we need to be. Got it? Hello? Hello? Namaste, how are you? Yeah, love the love the Okay. Right? So, about, see here. Diagonal. Diagonal. From center, if I take the point P over here, get the distance A by root 3 and A by root 2, okay, this will be equal distances. Yes or no? That is called symmetry. That is called symmetry. The pin set, so whatever the field this charge contributes over here, this also contributes the same field. This also contributes the same field. Okay, so that is the situation. So look at this. Look at this. Above this, I am taking a point. So this is A by root. A by root. Okay. So this is A by root two. And what about this? A by. What about this angle? Ninety degrees. Okay. And what about this distance? Okay. Will it be A? Huh? Okay. A by root 2, A by root 2. Okay. So for this right angle triangle, this becomes the hypotenuse. X in A. Huh? So X is equal to under root A square by 2. A square by 2. X is equal to. Huh? So this is. Huh? A square. Let us see. So this is. 
Got it? So this is the resistance scale. Now, equal charges are taken. Do you correct? What are the charges? Magnitude of the charges? Q. So here Q, here Q, here also Q, and here also Q. Okay, so now what is the electric field due to this? Ah, due to this. Ah, so electric field due to this is C. This is equal to K, Q by ah. So this is S. Understood? So this is here. So this is that the K value is nothing but K value is nothing but 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. Understood? Okay. Now, even by this B. Okay. Even by this. Even by this. Understood? Okay. So this is here. Since all the things, all these electric fields are here. So what will be the resultant field? 4 into that is 4 into that is because all the things are in the same directions ultimately. All the things are in the same direction. Otherwise, that's we can do like this. Okay, so look at this here. You see, look at this some so direction need not be taken as okay. So that's the same thing. So look at this here. So what about the electric field which is due to this EC? So EC is in this direction. Right now, if I don't make this okay, then this is the angle theta, even this thing also becomes the angle theta. Am I correct? And whatever you see that we have taken, so you see this becomes EC cos theta, and in this direction, so you see sine theta, this becomes EC sine theta, you see sine theta, you see sine theta. Right. Okay. So whatever the components I have taken, E C cos theta, E C sin theta, they are due to E C. That means the charge at C. Okay. Now, if you want to take charge at D. Okay. So if you talk about charge at D, okay. So what will be the direction of the field? The direction of the field is this. This is I. Then E D cos theta will be in this direction. E D sin theta will be in this direction. Due to these two vertices of charges, E sin theta, E sin theta, because then this is Q, then this is Q, E sin theta, E sin theta can be taken. Am I correct? Even those vertical components also will be equal in magnitude. Therefore, these two things will get cancelled out. Not only by means of these two vertices C and D, you take the vertices A and B also. Even by means of these two vertices A and B also. E sin theta, E sin theta will get cancelled out. All vertical components are getting cancelled out. All E cos theta survive. Because they will be found okay, in the same direction. Now, so what are you saying about the net electric field? The net electric field is equal to the net electric field will be is equal to ha, so for E C cos theta. Understood? Yes or no? Okay, so what is EC now? C4 1 by 4 pi epsilon notch Q by ah. So what is the distance now here? Yes, square. Cos theta. Cos theta. Look at this. Cos theta is where? Ah. This is this. And this is this. Look at the figure. This is theta. Opposite side. What is the opposite side? Ah. Opposite side. Okay. We have taken this one. For this opposite side is given. A by root 2. By hypotenuse. What is the hypotenuse? A. Did you understand? Is the figure clear? Confusing. Clear? Okay. Now, this A, this A will get cancelled. So E is equal to this 4, this 4 will get cancelled. 
Okay, one by root two. So this is q by root two finds epsilon naught. Okay, q by root two by epsilon naught is equal. Option B is correct. Option B is correct. Are all clear with the components of this electric field that I have taken? E C cos theta, E C sin theta. Yes, next problem, problem number 98. I am just reading out the electric field at a distance of from an infinite line of charge having the linear charge density lambda is. Of course, this you need not work out already gas law first application we have taken. Not only that, okay, even in the case of electric field intensity also I touch. Even by using Coulomb's inverse square law, also we can find out this. Okay, so directly there is a formula. Can you guess which option it could be? A. Yeah. Option A. Yeah. Lambda by 2 epsilon, 2 pi epsilon not R. Gauss law first application is that to leave. Gauss law's first application itself is that. Okay, now question number 99. The electric field at center of quarter circular ring having charge density lambda is. Now, the electric field at the center of quarter circular ring. Get quarter circular ring. Come on, come on, think of. Yes, are you getting an idea? Yes. Now the question is here you see electric field intensity at the center of quarter circle having charge density lambda is quarter circle means that you have to imagine one two ring 
Hmm. Last bench. Abhishek, come here and do the Brahma. You are so busy in talking something, in showing something. Huh? Okay. You have to come here. You should be able to do the problem. Then even if you talk, and, huh? Okay. Even if I question why you are talking, then you can tell. No, sir. I know everything. I know the answer. Huh? You are explaining, but I need not listen to you because I know. Huh? Hello. What is the thing that you are talking? Okay. So quarter circle means one fourth of the circular. One fourth of the circular. Okay. So look at this here. You see. So this is one fourth of the circular wheel of the X. Okay. So this is one fourth of the circular wheel of the X. Okay. See from here zero, and this is five radius. Now what I do is I will be just taking one elemental length, small, very small length. Okay. So one elemental length I am taking. Like this. The width is dm. The width is dm. Very good. Okay. So the radius is r you take. The radius is r you take. Okay. So the lambda is the charge per unit length. Lambda is the is, is anything given for so over here. Lambda is the charge per okay, unit length. Charge per unit length. Okay. So now, so how do you take? How do you take? So whatever BL that we have been taking, so that you need to represent in terms of DQ. Understand? Okay. So this is here. This is theta. This is making an angle theta. But it, now, like this. This will be the x component and this will be the y component. Right? So, the resultant electric field here will be the vectorial sum of this x component of dx, okay, and y component which is dy. Right? Ultimately, so the intensity of the electric field E, how do you write? So, this is nothing but ex squared plus dy squared. E is equal to ex squared plus dy squared. ex squared plus dy squared. Right. So, EX, how do you write? Along the x axis. Along the x axis. EX is equal to lambda by 4 pi epsilon naught into R. So, summation from 0 to pi by 2. From 0 to pi by 2. Okay. So, cos theta. X component. D. Okay. Now, so the x component of this lambda by 4 pi epsilon naught r. Okay, so this becomes a sine theta. Sine theta from 0 to pi by 2. Okay, so this is dx. This is how you say lambda by 4 pi epsilon naught r. Okay, sine pi by 2 minus sine 0. Sine pi by 2 is 1. Okay, 2 1. Into one. Okay, so ex is equal to this, right? Okay, now e y, how do you write? Lambda by four pi epsilon notch r integral of zero to pi by two y component. That is a sine theta d. Sine theta d theta, right? Okay, so e y in this particular case lambda by four pi epsilon notch r minus cos theta from 0 to pi by 2. From 0 to pi by 2. Okay. So minus so lambda by 4 pi epsilon naught r cos theta from 0 to pi by 2. Cos pi by 2. First upper limit. Ha. Cos pi by 2. 0. 0 minus Okay, so therefore, so E y in this particular case lambda by 4 pi epsilon notch. Now the net electric field in this regard that is E is equal to under root 
Vx square plus Vy square. Lambda y four pi epsilon naught r whole square plus lambda y four pi epsilon naught r whole square. So V is equal to lambda y four pi epsilon naught r equal to Into root 2. Okay. So now which option it will be? Option A. Root 2 lambda by 4 pi epsilon naught. Okay. Okay. The next problem. A charged disk of radius 3 meter has charge density sigma. Electric field at a distance 4 meter from its okay, the center on the axis is. Yes, over. The last problem of this booklet. The last problem of this booklet. So that is a charged disk of radius 3 meter has charge density sigma. Charge density is sigma. Right? Yet I can feel the distance of 4 meter from this center on the axis is. Now, the given situation is like this. There is a disk. Okay, there is a disk. Look at this. It's not a wing disk. Sorry. Okay, now, so the radius of the disk has been given that is a 3 meters. 3 meters. Yes. Okay, now, above the disk from the center, there is an axis on that 4 meters, not uh, 4 meters, at 4 meters of distance. This distance is 4 meters. Get out the y axis, so y I will be taking this 4 meters. This is R. Okay. Now the charge is uniform distributed. Charge is there's a charge density. Charge density means that is a charge per unit area. That is a charge per unit area. Sigma. Okay. So that is given. Right. Now, so this if at all you work out this, uh, this thing, or this again we had discussion one day. 
Okay, due to this, what is the charge density? Ah, so this, what is the intensity of the electric field? So it along the y axis. Intensity of the electric field can be written so y. Okay, so how do you say? So this is k. K means so 1 by 4 by epsilon naught sigma. Okay, so into, okay, so this becomes yeah. so 2 pi 1 minus cos theta. What is theta? Minus. So this is theta. Okay, so k sigma into 2 pi, so 1 minus cos theta. So there is a formula. Right? Now in this particular case, what is cos theta? Cos theta adjacent by hypotenuse. So this is y. Ah, so what is this? R square plus y square. Have a catch. This is R square plus y square. So this is 1 by 4 pi epsilon notch sigma 2 pi 1 minus y by under which R square plus y square. Okay, R square plus y square. So a numerical values are given here. So this becomes sir. Okay. So how are the options in terms of epsilon not uh, this thing? Okay. So we will like this. Okay. So this uh, two times. Don't take the value nine hundred and four nine. So epsilon not is there. So sigma y two epsilon notch one minus four nine. Okay. Sigma by ten epsilon. Sigma by 10 epsilon naught. So there is a value. Is the option there? Yes. yes. Option B. Option B. Like this. So that is the way how we have to put the problems. Okay. Okay. Successfully we have completed this given problem. 100 problems. My number is 100 problems. You will be getting. Okay. So 50 more problems, higher order thinking problems. Higher order, higher order thinking problems. Okay, higher order thinking problems. Okay, thoughts. Very good. Okay, so this is you need to take each and every problem in that category very seriously because okay, higher order thinking. In the IIT level, okay, that's a few read level. Okay, that's a here. So this is here in this book, let's so this is, you have seen. So there are some problems which are very easy. There are some problems more rich. There are this type of problems somewhat okay, difficult, which make you think. Which make you think all varieties we covered in this particular category. But in, but in that okay, so higher order thinking problems in the category. Okay, I will be calling that as a mission hundred plus. This is mission 100. That is mission 100 plus. Okay? 100 plus. Right? Shall we close? Ah. Okay. 